Okay, Dr. Hubner here, Natural Transplants. I'm here with my patient of the day, Tanya, and we're very excited, and she's here with her husband, uh, Damien, and uh, Damien is uh, gonna be watching the procedure today, and I'm very excited because he's a salon owner, he's very curious about how the process works, and of course the results, so we're gonna show everything today. Uh, it's very rare that we have a, a female being willing to talk about her experience and how it has her hair loss, so I'm very excited, and I know this will be a really good resource for a lot of women out there that are looking to maybe doing something to really help them out. So um, I want to tell you Tanya's story. Basically, Tanya has not a very, it's not a common genetic pattern of loss. What she has is traction alopecia. What traction alopecia means is that basically tension is put on the hair for long periods of time, either in the form of a braid or the way the hair is brought back, sometimes with cornrows or other types of styles that put a lot of pressure. And over time, sometimes the follicle just never comes back. And these over time just get thinner, 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 and then they're here, uh, wanting to get it done. So um, you can see that her hair, other than the area we're working in, her hair is very, very thick and she has very, very good density. Um, but you can see where her hairline used to be, and you can even come here a little closer, Josh, and show, but you can see that her hairline used to be way up here. And you can see how spacey all of this is. So this is a very, very nice example of traction alopecia. Um, and it comes on both sides. You can see that her temples used to be a little bit stronger. Uh, and all she has left is you know, just some, some small amount of remaining hair. So I'm very, very excited. When did you start noticing this happening for you? Um, I wrote uh, like 2006, 2007. It's actually me being pregnant, not wanting to do my hair, and I was getting the braids and the bra you know, pulling them up, taking them down, mm -hmm. pulling them up, and for nine months just wearing them. And after a while, it just started getting thinner and thinner. Okay. And then, you know, uh, I noticed that it wasn't going back. Yeah. How does that affect you? And does it affect your everyday life? Does it it actually does because you have to constantly try to cover it in some kind of way. You, you're trying to find hairstyles that you have to pull your hair over to the side or wear it down and it limits you from being able to pull your hair back in a ponytail and things like that basic stuff that you you know used to do and it's like it, it's it's real self-conscious okay awesome and how did you find us how did you find natural transplants where else did you look i actually well i actually i went to a dermatologist well my dermatologist and for a couple of years i've been like researching it and i went online and was googling different names and of course you are one of the ones that popped up and then you have youtube so yeah. I went looking at your YouTube videos and then I did and other people that have this they don't show the results they don't show you know like you you know tell what's going on show what happened later and they don't and it, the advertising so you just intrigued me so when I called and talked to Josh he got me all hyped up and excited about it so awesome we're all hyped up as well excited for you as well so we'll be stopping now throughout the day showing pictures we'll show the hairline and uh, looking forward to seeing some great results starting thank okay, you so much thank you you are You want to talk a little bit about what you see in the salon? Well, yeah, just, just in the salon, just like you said, the traction alopecia. What happens is, is a lot of the a lot of the young women that comes in there, they're always thinning around this area when it goes to like lace fronts or glue, or when it comes to uh, the sew ins and different stuff like that. They're having so much abrasion or so much damage to the to the same area as my wife, like you said, the traction alopecia to where now they're just trying to cover it up. I'm here today just to see how the process works so I can refer a lot of my clients and a lot of my stylist clients to, to this process as well. So if it goes good, we'll see. Okay, I'm here with Tanya and we are about a third of the way through the procedure. At this point in the procedure, the anesthesia has been done, the strip's been removed in the back, so our techs now are working on uh, our sewing it back up. And uh, Tanya, how's your day been going so far? Tell us about the anesthesia part. How was that? It was, I didn't feel it. Um, I, I, I'm, I have a high pain tolerance, so 
I have tattoos, so I don't know. It didn't hurt me. <laughs> and she's married too, apparently. So her pain tolerance is uh, off the charts. But <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so uh, no, but he's been here the whole time. Damon's been watching, and uh, he's been real asking a lot of good questions. So uh, it's it's always nice to have family members in asking questions, and uh, you know. But uh, okay, so um, basically the strips out. You're sewn up. I'm going to show you what we did around here in the front. Okay. So uh, well, not in the front, in the back rather. So I want you to see. how big that suture is, or how big that scar is going to be in the back. So you can see how perfectly approximated it is all the way around into that good hair. And yep. that's going to be really easy for her to hide because she has all this hair up on top that's just going to fall right down over it. So women always worry about what they're going to look like afterwards. What we have to look for is basically you're going to have scabs in this area here. Um, but she has fortunately has some hair she's going to bring forward and hopefully with a, a stylist they can work out a way to, to cover things up. So, all right, we'll be checking in on you a little bit later and uh, can't wait to see how it looks. All right, me too. Okay, Dr. Hubner here. I'm here with our patient Tanya and she, we have just completed her surgery. Uh, I'm very excited. We were able to move a lot of hair for her. We actually got her a third additional strip and just jam-packed the temples and the top. Uh, in the areas of traction alopecia, which you had. Tanya, how was your experience today? It was good. I I didn't think it was going to go as smooth as it did, but I have no complaints at okay. all. Oh, cool. And it's cool because I can see where your new hairline is going to be <laughs> and uh, how it's going to look. It's kind of hard to see that because you're not used to seeing uh, how it looks. I know. But, uh, but trust me, it's going to be a great result for you. You're going to be able to finally wear your hair back in a ponytail and not have to worry about um, all these areas so um, awesome. yes is there anything you would uh, say to women that are thinking about doing this or, or you know potentially I would say don't be embarrassed about the way you look at because I look like ET right now but I know that that when the year comes and my hair is back I'm gonna be really satisfied and I won't ever have to deal with it again so just don't be afraid to make that step to take care of your appearance and you know don't be afraid to just get it done awesome and no more braids for you. No more braids. No more braids. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, thanks once again for letting us show people, Thank particular you. women, um, what the process can be like. And I uh, really look forward to seeing your results. And you can call us anytime, uh, naturaltransplants.com. Thanks.